This is Twit. NASA getting into, I guess I shouldn't say getting into the health game because NASA <laughs> has to be in the health game already, but in a very specific way uh, to help out with reminding you not to touch your face. Yes, and, this is cool. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. N- oh, no, no, that's, that's, I was ready for you to tell me all about it. The <laughs> pulse. Sure. Um, yeah, we've mentioned stuff like this before, but I thought it was an interesting uh, just kind of project from them because part of it is that they're releasing these designs uh, open source, but it's a way to 3D print a case for that runs off of a simple coin um, battery that you can get in pretty much any store and then some simple parts and it will make a vibration motor. So anytime you get within a couple of inches of your face, it will vibrate. And I thought that was a good method because it just kind of like sits around your neck Um But they're also trying to basically get more people into this and basically improve the designs so that it could be something a little more common that people could put together. Because I always like, especially for something that's this important, um, just like this sort of DIY mentality, like it makes me think of NFC tags being cheap. It's just like this doesn't, not every single piece of smart tech has to cost $120. So (laughs) it's always helpful when... You can make it yourself, but of course, not most people don't have 3D printers. But yeah, it's just yeah. like a little nubbin thing. I don't know how to describe it. Like almost like it a looks little like keychain. a little necklace charm. Yeah. Um. Uh. That you you know sort of a a larger size necklace charm, and it you know sits at the end of a necklace and has a proximity sensor in it, uh, which is super cool. So as you move your hands towards your face, the closer you get, the more it vibrates as a reminder. Um. I would like to, yeah, I hope that somebody <laughs> out there creates these and sort of sells them um, because that's the that's best way for too. me to be able to get one. Uh, but I think, yeah, it's a pretty cool idea using an infrared proximity sensor as opposed to some of the other designs that try to work out uh, through machine learning and those kinds of technologies as you're moving your hand up and down. The gyroscope and all that kind of stuff can be a little bit uh, inaccurate. And yeah. or or it can be, you know, super false positive, <laughs> uh, which is a very scientific term. And so this feels a little bit more realistic. Um, but then also as your partner comes in for a hug, it will buzz you and say, <laughs> no, don't let this happen. So, you know, well, not, if you're not, hugging strangers, it'll help. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Know. Remember, don't hug I'm strangers. I'm not good at jokes today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <laughs> there's there's the the NASA pulse uh made by or or designed by the jet propulsion lab very cool and yeah it's available on github um so you can get all the information you need there 